Hello, everybody. My name is uh, Punga Pai, uh, also known as uh, Pingu. And we have some questions here. So we have the first question, which is how is it adapting uh, players to become a more operator and role flexible? And this is basically a very commonly asked question. It's kind of the foundation uh, for G2 in the new roster was that we wanted to have as much flexibility on the roster as possible. We want to do everything, right? Uh, if we need Kent on something, he's going to do it. If we need Uno on something, he's going to do it. And I think every, every team theoretically wants the same thing as us like every team would probably idealistically want every every person to play every operator at the highest level i just don't think that that many rosters are allowed to do it for the simple reason that you kind of have people set in, in in stone so like you'll have a support player and this guy exclusively plays support and that's not a bad thing because you can really master the support play with us, we made the roster with the intent of the flexibility, so our players were handpicked for this purpose. And I think that's one of the few reasons as to why we might actually succeed in trying to achieve this. But we've only played one game. Even though it went well, it's way too little to tell. Second question is cultivating a new environment with Fabian no longer leading. And this is probably the the biggest like individual responsibility goal that we've had. We don't want one leader. And even with Fabian in the team, it wasn't like Fabian did everything. And nowadays, even when Fabian left after Invitationals, we try as much as possible to have every single player involved in individual responsibility with IGLing, shot calling, voicing opinions and strats, ideas, creating openings. And I think a lot of teams have very slowly or actually quite steadily kind of adapted that from us as well. Like we, we, had, we were the first team ever to make a six man roster back in the day. We are one of the first teams this is very hard to verify but we were one of the first teams to have two igls that being fabian and myself and and we have ever since then just try to get as many people up to speed as possible and even someone like kentaro kitty who's known as a all uh, no, what is what's it called uh no brain all aim ashman even kentaro these days have shown significant improvement since we picked him up in the in the vocal area so super happy with that i do think that every team needs that person that Fabian kind of re uh, represent in our team, like a leader or a captain or someone that has like the final say, because if you don't have a final word, if you don't have that like voice that rules above all the voices, you're going to have three people saying something and then you need to be like, oh, excuse me, you go first or like, excuse me, you go first or sorry, I want to go first. And it's like, it can just get really messy and it can take a lot of time and space in terms of comms. Basically, we're working out our identity as a team from the inside as well as from the outside and i think that'll be an interesting approach for fans for casters and even for ourselves and probably our coaches to be a part of and it hasn't been perfect we've had some ups and downs uh even though they're failing your roster but i think this first game shows a pretty good example of our potential at least and then the last question which probably should be the first question is uh thoughts going into the match how i felt how we felt as a team the energy the atmosphere and to be honest, we had we had like a really rough period not too long ago with with like scrims and kind of like we had a really good run and then like reality kicked in and like okay now we're now we're floating here like we're plateauing, and then we're like, what's the problems? You know, what are the issues? Like, why do we feel the way we feel, or why don't we feel the way we should feel? And we made a few alterations, and I think just like facing the problem made it click, and we we're like, okay we're going to approach this differently. And we had really good scrim results and, next, and like really good time as a team the last like two weeks or so. Leading into this game, I think we had the utmost confidence. We had a warm-up scrim today where we did really good against, you know, a, a high-level team. We just played our game. And I think ultimately that's what every team should be doing. You should be playing your game. But I also think that there is this pattern where a majority of teams in Europe at least, and I'm sure this is the same for other regions, but I can't say from personal experience, is that you have scrim teams or scrim heroes and then you have pro league teams right teams that thrive under pressure i was a bit worried about rogue in the beginning but once rogue kind of got under the pressure with us clutching some rounds back to back aces for example just kept the aggression up spawn peeking going like solo roaming taking gunfights with confidence and i think that shows that he's a great player i don't want to discredit the rest of rogue for that but i do think that this is a pattern that a lot of teams have where if the mood isn't there, if you are losing, or if you just feel like the enemy is doing everything right, that you kind of lose confidence in yourself and your ability to play the game. And I think that's uh, that's how you lose games a lot mentally. Feel good out of game, feel good in the game, perform well in the game, win the game, happy game, happy days. And yeah, we're gonna try and keep up the momentum for the rest of the game to the season. But for now, eyes on the next game and uh, 
a lot can change. Thank you for watching.